okay greetings once again um today i'm just paused to teach about um the tabernacle it's one of the interesting topics in the bible and um it's very good like to know about a lot of things in the bible you know uh, also when we check in, in 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 the bible actually when we talk about the tabernacle remember god took moses to heaven and then he said he must construct the tabernacle according to the pattern that you have seen in heaven so the physical tabernacle that was erected on the earth realm it was the reflection of the tabernacle that was in heaven and remember in the tabernacle we have three parts we have the outer court the inner court and the holy of holies so in the outer court for sure all of us like we know that it's everyone had an access to the outer court and in the inner court, it was only the priest who had an access to the inner court. And then the Holy of Holies, it was the high priest. So basically in the Bible, when it comes to the 12 tribes of Israel, we have um, the tribe of Levi. So in the tribe of Levi, God chose this tribe to be the priest. So if you are not the Levite, you're not supposed to be a priest. No matter how powerful you are, no matter how you can preach powerfully. God chose the Levites to be the priest. So now when it comes to the priest or to the priest office, the priesthood is divided into two parts, whereby we have the priest as an ordinary and the high priest. So when you are a priest, you are allowed to operate in the inner court, right? Or the holy place. But if you are the high priest, now you can understand it. It's a high priest. This one, he can operate or he can minister in the Holy of Holies. We get that. Ne? So there's a difference between the high priest and the priest as ordinary. So as a priest, you operate in the holy place. As a high priest, you operate in the Holy of Holies. And you need to be holy when you enter into the Holy of Holies. That's why they were using a chain. If, like you, if a priest is going to minister in the Holy of Holies, they will tie a chain on his leg. You have to be pure when you operate there. If you have a in the Holy of Holies, you have to the presence, the intensity of the presence of God was too much in the Holy of Holies. Upi magu no, bafun this bota la masukula ama profeta profeta ama baiza baiza abang ata opare ita la waktu la ayat abang la sini the way aku holy sih so. So and then when you look into the outer part whereby it is the holy place, it had two things whereby it has it has um what we call the altar whereby they will pull the lamb and then they will kill the lamb and then after the lamb there is what we call the brazen lava. In the brazen lava, it's where by when a priest is done slaughtering the sheep, you will go and wash his hands. So when he washed his hands, it was the mixture of the blood and the water. You get that part? It's the mixture of the blood and the water. So now you, you get the picture of why Jesus at the cross, water and blood came out. You, you, you'll understand when they were sacrificing the, the sheep in, in, in the outer court, they will kill it and then they will go to the brazen lava. They will wash their hands. And as they're washing their hands, it, it is the blood and the water. It is the picture of Jesus at the cross. As Jesus is the sheep or he's the lamb and he's being sacrificed, the water and the blood came out. So now when you go to the inner court, whereby it has the three finishers, it has the altar of incense. This is where they burn. And when they burn, when they burn the sacrifice, those sacrifices they go up to heaven. And as they go up to heaven, in heaven there are bowels whereby whereby it's prepared for those smoke. And God, you will smell that aroma. So if a priest he goes there and he burns those sacrifices, it has the prayers of the saints. And when it goes above, she smell the aroma, the prayers of the saints. So you get it. And then from there also, we have what we call the seven lampstand, the seven or the Jewish menorah. What we call the seven or, or the Jewish menorah. It is the seven lampstand. I'll tell you what does that mean. On the other side, we, we have what we call the uh the the 
the bread, the, 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 the table of shoe bread, whereby it had 12 loaves. And that's where you will see a man of God called David. He went into the holy place to eat a bread which he was not supposed to eat. He entered a place whereby it was only the priest were allowed to enter. But this guy, he entered at and he didn't die, this guy. Why? Because David in the Old Testament, he was not operating under the law. He was operating under grace. Though grace came through Jesus Christ and the law came through Moses, and grace, it manifested in this time, and grace started to operate fully in this time, but in the Old Testament, there were people who were operating under the grace. It was Abraham who was operating under the grace because he became righteous because of faith, not because of works and then we've got a man called david also david was operating under the grace that's why i was able to enter into the holy place and he didn't die and there is nothing bad that happened to him he was not supposed to go there but david went there because he was operating under the grace so now remember all these things that i'm mentioning here i just the symbols but they have they have meanings all right okay when you look onto Okay, the, the altar of um, what we call the answers, the altar, the altar, it was the golden altar, right? This is where they burn the sacrifice. This is what we talk about the prayers of the saints. It's an altar. And then when you come to the seven, seven lamb stem, they represent the seven spirits. The seven spirits are mentioned into the, into the book of Isaiah chapter 11. And whereby the Bible says like... Um, the spirit of the uh, 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 a rod, uh, a rod shall come out from the stem of Jesse, and the spirit of the Lord shall be upon him. It is the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of 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 counsel, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of the fear of the Lord, and etc. So there are seven spirits. So and so these spirits, it's what it's it's these seven spirits also, or these seven uh uh uh, uh them. They also represent the seven churches which were recorded in the book of Revelation, the seven spirits. So now, when you come into the table of shoe bread, or the table that had bread, it also has seven crowns. It also has 12 crowns, I mean. So, the table itself is representing Jesus. The four legs of the table, they were representing the four Gospels. The book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All right? And the 12 braids upon the table, they represent the 12 disciples of Jesus. And then when you come to the Holy of Holies, in the Holy of Holies, it's where there is what we call the Ark of the Covenant. All right? And then it what where the Ark of the Covenant. So, upon the Ark of the Covenant, there's what we call the cherub. The cherub. There was the two cherub, or it's a cherub, while there are two. So, it's a cherub when it's one, but when there are two, it's cherubim. So, you will see them, they are like this. It's like in the throne of God. Remember, this thing, it was constructed according to the pattern that Moses saw in heaven. So, it was the cherubim like this. The wings, they were attached to each other. And then, within the Ark of the Covenant, there is a jar. Not Jekyll and And within that jar, there is a rod of Aaron. There is the broken of uh, the, the, the tablets, the broken tablets. The first commandments. Remember what happened? Moses, he went, he went into the mountain. And when he went to the mountain... Therefore, an angel, it wrote what? The laws, those laws, he wrote those laws, right? He wrote those laws, he wrote those laws in the mountain. When he came back from the mountain, he found the people of Israel, he found the children of Israel, they were worshipping a calf, a golden calf. They were back unto their habits. They were doing whatever they were doing. And then it did not please Moses. And then he threw those tablets and they broke. You still remember? Therefore, he went also again there and then he wrote the law. So, there was that broken tablet. And then also, there is manna. What is this? The food of angels. So there was manna there. So, when you look again unto the tabernacle, 
the Bible will give you the specific measurements of the tabernacle. And 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 those measurements, like they 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 mean a lot to us, even though like we don't understand them, it's just measurements. But like when you read the measurements, when you calculate the area of the outer court, it's one thousand, I think it's it's one thousand five hundred and eighty something cubits when you do the math. And then when you look into the holy of holies. It had um, its own cubits. It was 2,000 cubits when you do the math. The Holy of Holies, it had 1,000 cubits. So now 1.5 cubits from the outer court, 2,000 cubits from the inner court, 1,000 cubits in the Holy of Holies. So now those cubits, they are the years. So that's why from, from the times of Moses until the time of Jesus, it's 1,500 years, whereby it's 1,500 cubits when you do the math. And this is not coincidence. If you don't believe what I'm saying, go to the book of Exodus, do this calculation. If you are lazy to do calculations, go to Google. Google the cubits. They will tell you that... From the holy from, from the outer court, it's 1.5 cubits. And those years, from the time of Moses, <clears throat> sorry, until the time of Jesus, it's 1,500 years. And those cubits are 15,000 years. How do I know that it is the years in the Bible? When you read in the book of Zechariah, there was an angel which was measuring Jerusalem using a reed. You read the book of Revelation, you see also the angel. It's measuring the city, not also measuring the city, but also measuring the people. Why measuring the people? Because remember, even in the Old Testament, God, when God, he said a man should live how many years? 120. God was measuring. And then you move from 120 to 70 years, right? So now, from the time of Moses to the time of Jesus, it's 1,500. But from the inner court, which is the holy is the holy place remember i said it's two thousand what yes it's it's, it's two thousand cubits i mean so those two thousand cubits it means two thousand years so one cubit is equivalent to one year so right and then when you read in the book of hosiah it says that in two days remember one day unto god according to the book of first peter chapter three one day unto the lord it's like one thousand years one day unto the Lord, it's equivalent to one day. And one day unto the Lord, it's thousand years. So in the holy place, if it's 2,000 cubits, it means it's 2,000 years. And if it's 2,000 years, it means unto God is two days. I hope we, we get that. It's two days. So now, from that 2,000 years, remember what happened. Remember what we have inside, inside the holy place. We have the altar of incense or the golden incense. This which talks about the prayers of the saints. So that's why you find out that in these 2,000 years, there are a lot of prayers. There is too much prayer. And in everything that we conquer in most cases in these 2,000 years, you need to pray. Because many things in these 2,000 years, you need prayer to break through. So now, there is seven, there is seven lamb stem, right? And those seven lamb stem, it talks, it is, we said it's what? It's seven churches. Okay, it represents seven churches, seven eyes of the Lord, seven spirit. So, but in, 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 in this portion which I'm revealing, they represent seven churches. Meaning that we are in the church age. So church age or the church is given how many days? Two days. But after two days, the church will be raptured. The book of Hosea it talks about two days. Two days. So we are given two days. So the church will survive for how many days? For two days, which is 2,000 years. We get that, right? So also, when you look into the... Uh, into the holy place, as I have said, it's 2,000 years. There is that table which, which I was talking about. 
whether it had how many how many loaves it has 12 loaves and i said they represent what the disciples the four legs of the four legs of the table represent the four sins of the gospel so and even in this age in the age whereby the gospel of the lord has spread unto the whole world remember it was the four legs and number four it represent what the earth it represent the four corners of the earth so and the gospel it's going it's going it's we're preaching the gospel across the world in the four corners of the world we are preaching the gospel so now from to coming to the last part whereby we said it is the holy of holies in the holy of holies i said the cubits it's it's one thousand cubits whereby one cubit is close to one year so if it's one thousand cubits it means that we are having one thousand years so the holy of holies it speaks of the millennium it is the picture and the typology of the millennium and on top of the of the ark of the ark remember i said I, I was talking about the cherubim remember and those and those cherubim uh, they are in the throne of god so in the millennium it's all about kingship it's where we are going to do it to exercise our kingship it's where we're going to exercise our kingship in the millennium so it's 1000 cubits and as it's 1000 cubits remember in the book of revelation there's 1000 years of millennium whereby we're going to reign with christ jesus so after rapture after our being raptured we'll go up to heaven for seven years and then after on the earth there will be seven years of tribulation but after that we'll come back there will be a battle of armageddon after the battle of armageddon then there will be the wedding after the wedding and then we we'll come to the millennium reign in the millennium reign let me exp let me explain something about the millennium reign in the millennium reign we will have the glorified bodies you won't have this body no we will have the glorified bodies whereby you can disappear and appear it is the body that jesus had after resurrection it's what we call the glorified body you won't even need a car to go to lipo you won't even need a car to go somewhere you just disappear and appear and in the millennium reign we are also going to eat food but it when it comes to eating we won't eat because we are hungry no there's no hunger there we are eating because it's for pleasure so you will, we are going to have the supernatural bodies we are going to come back here on earth we are going to reign with christ and as david oh my god when it comes to david 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 is one of the prominent uh, uh servant of god you know david you will be the captain Ish. david you will be leading a lot of people in the millennium so in the millennium reign of christ also it's it's it's, it's jesus will be reigning in israel and will be staying wherever we're staying so according to the book of isaiah it says that there will be the restoration of the buildings and in the millennium reign we won't have the devil on the earth because the devil you will be bind by an angel and they're gonna throw him into the bottomless pit and you will be you will be chained you won't you won't be lying to anyone so also so and by that time you will also chill with with a lion a lion won't do anything to you you also chill with with the hyena hyena won't like in the millennium like yo yo will be enjoying but people who didn't receive christ they will remain dead people who didn't receive christ they will remain dead so it will be us there reigning with christ on the earth really. so we'll be reigning here in the millennium for 1000 years so when you look unto 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 the tabernacle as i was saying the the those cherubim it's all about the throne it's all about the rulership it's all about the kingship what will happen on the earth really so this is what's going to happen so 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 the holy of holies it's all about the millennium so hopeful to meet you next time as we break it down it was just the introduction of the tabernacle may the lord bless you